Each different tartan pattern or set is woven from crisscrossing coloured threads called the warp and the weft. The warp runs lengthwise and it's Jimmy Hill's job to make it. The warp threads must follow the exact sequence required to create the tartan that's been ordered up. Each thread has to go to the exact place of that pattern. Once Jimmy has put each of the 240 coloured yarns in the right order, he threads them onto a revolving drum at the warping mill. With all the threads tied in, Jimmy starts the mill. The warp is perfectly sequenced, but it's only half done. To make a symmetrical pattern, Jimmy now has to complete the sequence by creating a mirror image. To do this, he cuts the threads and then rotates them to invert the pattern. Jimmy now has to join the two halves without getting in a tangle. He repeats the process until he has a two metre wide, 32 metre long strip. Jimmy's warp isn't yet cloth. For that, it needs the weft, which runs sideways. The thread is fed from this machine, called a weft accumulator. It must be kept at just the right tension. The threads then pass through these weft selectors. Each arm controls a different colour. They work like keys on a piano. A different tune means a different kind of tartan. And they're told what to play by a central computer. To make space for the incoming weft threads, these shafts separate the warp thread. Meanwhile, these warp droppers constantly monitor the threads. If a warp dropper drops, it means a thread has broken and the whole weaving machine slams to a halt. Every day this mill weaves 600 metres of tartan. That's enough to make 82 traditional kilts. But that's only a fraction of the material needed to clothe the millions of modern-day descendants of Scotland's ancient clans.